Hey, Robert, this is Nate. Thanks for reaching out in the Transparent Warranty Specialist Group. Wanted to give you a quick site review. Basically, what we try to do is go over three things that can help improve your ratings with Google. Three things that you can do today. Um, basically, Google looks for content, citations, and backlinks, and we will go over what all of those are. But I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an attack plan. Realistically, your website's not doing bad right now, so I don't know that you need a whole lot. But um, as far as content goes, Google looks for about 1,000 to 1,500 words on your home page and about 500 to 750 on the back pages. And the reason they do that is because when people search, you know, auto detailing in your area or, you know, ceramic coating, whatever, they want to know that that is what your site talks about. They want to send people to relevant websites to what they're searching for. And as cool as all the pictures are, Google cannot see those. Google only sees your content, which is basically this stuff right here. Um, that's really all you got. You probably only got a couple hundred words on there. So it wouldn't hurt to bump that up, you know, get some good keywords and stuff like that in there. Um, if you go over here, you know, Moose Auto Detailing, this is actually one of their back pages. Apparently they have several locations. But they're, you know, they're the same way. They got, you know, 200 words, maybe 300 on there. Super easy to beat out. And, well, their site looks pretty generic. I realize this is one of their back pages, so maybe their home page has a little more on it. But, you know, yours looks way better than theirs does already. And then here, you know, same thing. This is another one of their back pages for the Jersey Auto Spa. They have multiple locations to it, I'm guessing. So, you know, there's not a lot on here. But if we go into some of the home pages on these sites, there's probably way more detail on there. But the keywords are what's important. You know, you want to be found for what you do. You know, your site's currently ranking for 22 keywords. You know, this, like I said, this is one of their back pages. They're only ranking there for three. And then this is also a back page, and they've got 53. So what I like to look for are what I call the generic keywords. You know, a finer detail, those guys that are typing that in already know who you are. So I try to look for not really seeing, like, you know, you've got motorcycle detailing, New Jersey, ceramic coating, New Jersey. People that are going to type that in don't already know you. So, you know, right here you've got 30 people a month that are searching ceramic coating, New Jersey, and 40 people a month searching motorcycle detailing, New Jersey but you're in the 74th and the 67th position. So you're really not getting any traffic from those. But we can go back and kind of check out what some of these other guys are getting. I know these guys, yeah, they got 53. Um, Jersey Auto Spa is their name. They've got, you know, Car Wash, Long Ranch, New Jersey. They're in the number one spot. There's only 40 people that search that every month, but 16 of them, almost half, are going to their website because they're in that number one spot. Um, let's see what else they've got. I'm not seeing a lot of the more generic type of keywords that I like to look for. Um, you know, something like auto detailing, New Jersey, you know, different things like that. The car wash near me type is never a bad one. But I like to look for the keywords that say what you are and where you are you know you're a car wash in detail and you're in long branch what you do where you're located those are kind of the generic keywords that people are typing in when they don't know who they're looking for so that's kind of the overview on content and keywords the next thing are the citations and the citations are what gets you up here into this map pack and like i said you're right there already so you're not going to get any better than the number one spot on the map pack you're also number one on the organic search when I searched auto detailing along Branch, New Jersey. So there are definitely some other keywords that you may not rank as high for, but you're number one on the one I happen to look up. So that's definitely a plus. But getting into the map pack, you do that with your citations. And what a citation is, is your company name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet. There's thousands of them, but like Merchant Circle, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages, Yelp, all of those different directories. Uh, we have a tool called WhiteSpark that we use. But like right now, you're showing 15 citations, 
and Moose is showing 12, and Jersey Auto Spa is showing 40. So you can easily get this number up into two or 300. It's just a matter of going out, finding the directories, signing up for them, and putting your information in there. It takes a lot of time, but it's totally doable. And like I said, the citations are what are going to help keep your ranking up here. And it does help to be on the first page organically in order to get in here. But I have seen, you know, I have seen times where all three of these guys were not even ranked on the front page. So they do give quite a bit of weight to those citations. Um, going back to talk about the backlinks. You currently have 15. And a backlink is any site that points back to you. So some of the citations will actually give you backlinks. You can go into different automotive blogs and things like that, you know, read the article, post a comment on it, put a link back to your site. Some of that will give you backlinks. And it's kind of a popularity contest. Not all backlinks are the same. You know, having a backlink to Pizza Hut really doesn't do any good because you're not in the restaurant business or the pizza business. But try to keep, you know, if you're going out looking for these blogs and trying to comment and get your links, try to keep your links on sites that are relevant to what you do. And that will give you more authority you know, looking here, like I said, this is a back page. They're not showing any on that particular back page. These guys only have one. But let's just, for example, go down and just look at their home page. You know, just go to jerseyautospa.com. See, they've got 184 if you just go to their home page. Because you can separately rank the back pages. But most of the backlinks and things like that are going to be linked to their home page. But we can see what those are. You know, with the tools that we have, we can go in and look at these different places and see where they're getting their backlinks from. And basically copycat. You know, find the guy that's got the most backlinks. Go find out where they're at. Go to those same pages and try to get the same backlinks for you. And then go out and find some more. You know, just beat the guy all the way around. Take all of his and go find some of your own. But that's kind of... The basic overview of what I wanted to go over with you. Feel free to give me a call, 210-383-8401, or hit me up on Facebook if you have any questions, and thank you for your time.